Welcome to Telecom in 10, where we explore the quality connections between our cutting-edge technology, unparalleled service, reliable products, and you, our customer and community, as we continue to transform telecom here at Northland Communications. A DDoS attack is uh, also known as distributed denial of service attack. Um, essentially, customers' uh, internet connection and traffic is overwhelmed with junk data. Uh, the primary point of that is to disrupt the connection to the customer. Um, two different variations that I've seen. One is to intentionally uh, target the business to disrupt all of their traffic flow in out, uh, but also as a way to distract larger corporations, larger IT teams to focus on the DDoS attack so they can look for secondary routes into the firewall and perhaps uh, gain access to sensitive data. So I'll, I'll elaborate on the most common DDoS attack that's used is um, a DNS amplification attack. Um, DNS is a tool that's used for us to communicate on the internet, right? You, you can't operate on the internet without using DNS, right? It is essentially like the phone book of the internet, right? So I tell this to a lot of people that um, I have no idea what my mom's phone number is. Hopefully she doesn't watch this, um, but right? It's basically my phone has a uh, contact list um, and its job is to remember what my mom's phone number is, yeah. right? So that's what DNS service does. Um, it allows us to not have to remember a whole bunch of numbers, an IP address, so that we can go out to CNN.com or Google.com or wherever we're trying to go on the, the internet, right? It is the phone book of the internet. And unfortunately, that is um, used to launch attacks to a customer, um, basically by tricking those DNS servers into thinking that a customer is requesting a whole bunch of um, information when they're not, right? Um, so their firewalls are flooded with um, these DNS responses that they never actually even asked for. And again, the goal is to disrupt their service, right? That could be uh, like what Michael's talking about with um, you know, taking an internet connection down, making it so that um, the internet is not accessible for someone. Um, it could very well be, like you mentioned, um, a way to um, have an IT department's focus beyond something um, to try to troubleshoot why they have no internet service so that they're trying to find a back door in. Um, it could also be, you know, imagine you're a customer that's trying to sell things on a web server um, and your web server is the target of that um, DNS attack, right? That basically then becomes not accessible, right? Your customers can't go on and shop for the, the car that you have listed or shop for whatever it is that you might be selling off of that web server. One of the biggest challenges is small businesses are becoming major points of attack. Uh, now that more and more credit card machines are internet-based, point of sale is internet-based, everything goes over that internet. And if you're a small business who relies on targeted windows of opportunity for large sales, say Super Bowl Sunday, all the pizza shops, sub shops, everyone's gonna be slammed for business. If you lose your internet connection for 15, 20 minutes, and you can't process credit cards, how much money did you just lose in that hour, in that 15 minute window? Uh, that, could be your, that could be half your day's sales. Um, you, know, you can't even get access to online web orders, anything. It would just strictly be dead traffic. Uh, and then you, when your traffic clears, you're then slammed with way too many orders that you can't possibly process. So uh, it's not just the outliers and the rare business that gets attacked now, it's all business types are under attack. I believe a service that Northland offers to prevent DDoS attacks is a, a solution that essentially takes all of your incoming traffic, um, inspects that traffic, uh, makes a decision whether or not you are under an attack and then can filter out any um, attack traffic so that really what you're getting is just good traffic and not um, attack traffic. The way I look at it is it's kind of like, uh, you know, driving on, a, on, a, on the highway, right? You're a car, your car is your internet connection, you're driving down the highway, right? Uh, maybe your car is starting to have issues, right? It starts to overheat, um, you're under a DDoS attack. What we're trying to do is help you mitigate that so your car keeps moving along the highway. There are some things that we have in place from a Northland perspective um, that even if you are not subscribed to our DDoS service, 
a customer being under a DDoS attack can impact everyone that's on the highway that's driving their car along that highway, right? Um, so we have um, solutions in place that if a pizza shop, for example, is under a large enough attack, um, we can actually do things and we'll mitigate things to make sure that the rest of our customers are not impacted by that attack also, right? The same analogy I'll use, um, like a car, if your car completely breaks down and is blocking a lane of traffic, that's going to impact the rest of the people that are trying to move along the thruway, right? So part of what we'll do is kind of remove that, remove that car from the highway um, and shut down the attack for a certain amount of time before we allow that, that traffic to come back online. And a couple of things customers can do to mitigate this issue themselves is, you know, we do offer the service. We, we introduced it last April as a free trial for every Northland internet customer through December. Um, many customers have taken advantage of it and utilized it and have signed up for that service uh, to continue on. Um, it's twofold from the sales side. One is, you know, during our, our business reviews, our account reviews with our customers, uh, we go over the data, we show them, have you seen attacks? Has there been any types of attacks? Uh, and it's surprising. I will see some customers with hundreds of small attacks and I will see some customers with one or two large attacks. It's just a question of whether the parties that are attacking you have an interest in your account beyond a short window of time. Um, unfortunately, DDoS mitigation is not something any carrier just provides outright to customers. It is rare actually to see some of the custom companies provide that service as an option to small businesses. It's usually focused mainly towards the large enterprise customers. Whereas as Northland has taken the approach of you know, providing the trial, allowing customers to see the benefit, but then also allowing customers of all internet sizes to have that uh, protection and that mitigation service. It's a small cost to offset a major impact to your business for any period of time that you may encounter it. So if during your business review with your you know, customer experience manager, you can just ask, you know, hey, what is my DDoS mitigation looking like? Um, the other great point is if a customer is experiencing really slow internet traffic, the first thing our knock can look at is pull up the DDoS tool and look right at their connection. There's many tools that Northland has internal that allows our knock to literally see directly into our equipment from end to end what's happening, and then to take necessary steps. Um, and the Northland way is to provide the best service available, the best options available to our customers at the best possible cost. Uh, it's not a profit center. It's really just helping us provide that value to our customers and less about how much additional revenue you're generating. Uh, so it's a great option to have. And I'll expand on that a little bit more too, that um, the solution that we actually have in place takes all of the incoming traffic for any of our customers and routes it to um, a device that's installed in both of our data centers, right? Mm -hmm. um, so there are other providers that offer this as a solution where your inbound traffic, if you're a customer that has DDoS solution, that inbound traffic is routed out to a cloud scrubbing service, for example, and then back to you um, you know, with clean data, that adds latency um, when you know that is how DDoS mitigation is yep. offered, um, and a lot of times that also makes it so that the um, ISP or whoever's offering that um, doesn't have insight into customers' data that aren't subscribed to the service. Right? That's the beauty of how we're we're uh, configured with the two devices in our in our core data centers is that all incoming traffic is routed to those boxes. Um, so whether or not you subscribe, our knock has the ability to see if you are in fact under um, an attack and take that you know, immediate mitigation um, to prevent that attack from continuing. Yeah, a lot of us ISPs look to use third parties outside of their company because they don't want to put the infrastructure into place to support services. Uh, Northland prefers to have everything centralized in our, in our data centers to provide the faster connection. So when you look at our internet, our internet goes from our, our data center central office directly to you over that fiber. There's no connections in between, no disruptions in between hopping to other nodes in the network. It's a straight shot. So having the DDoS just again allows us to provide some of the lowest latency and internet connectivity. Uh, and it also allows us to be able to see all of the data and what's going on and come up with ways to mitigate problems for customers.